Kubernetes CK certification exam is all about securing your workloads and how to secure the cluster. And there is one tool called App Armor that is a Linux kernel module using which you can deploy your workloads more securely. And it provides a mandatory access control for your workloads. In this video, we'll try to understand what are App Armor profiles, how to create an App Armor profile, some of the basic commands, and then how to use that App Armor profile for your Kubernetes pod, because that is what is expected from the CK certification point of view that you should know what is App Armor and you should know some of the App Armor commands, what all these means, and then how you actually create a policy, because that is the most critical part the profile creation, the App Armor profile creation. Once you create that, you'll be able to attach App Armor profile to your Kubernetes pods. My name is Sayam Badag, and let's get started. <laughs> So I have a two node Kubernetes cluster already up and running, kubectl get nodes. And now the first step is to actually check if app armor is enabled on the system. And for that, very simple command cat the sys module app armor parameters enabled. And if it's Y, that means you are good to go. And now let's try to see some of the loaded profiles. So you can see. When you do a sys kernel security app armor profile, there are a lot of profiles which are loaded. So you will be able to see all the profiles that are enforced. Now let's create a profile. Let's create an app armor profile for denying the ride onto the nodes. So let's create that particular profile. VI deny underscore write. This is a deny write profile. And here is deny all file writes. So deny slash star star w. Let's save this. And you need to apply this to all the nodes where this particular policy needs to be there because it's a Linux kernel thing. And if a pod is not right now, I have done on the control plane. So if I do not do it on the other node, which is there on this particular Kubernetes cluster, and if a pod falls into that, then obviously this particular profile won't be applied to that particular pod. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, when we create the pod, we'll make sure it is configured and it gets scheduled on the control plane node. So right now we do not need to apply this onto all the nodes, but yeah, you should be applying it to all the nodes if you want the profiles to be working. App armor commands. Now these are important. So AA status grep deny. So we don't get anything right now. Let's do a LS. We see a deny right. Now let's use app armor underscore parser hyphen Q deny right. Let's again do uh, AA status grep deny and now we are able to see that this particular profile is loaded. So you should know these basics command uh, that using the status grep a particular policy and using the app armor parser you will be able to load it. Deny right profile is now loaded. Now is the time to create a pod and make sure that we are able to apply this particular policy. So vi pod.yaml so for the pod that we are creating, it's a very simple pod, API version B1, kind pod, metadata, app, armor, demo. Now in the spec section, earlier it was annotation, but now you can simply specify that under the security context of the pod. So in the spec section, you can specify security context. In that, you can specify app armor profile, and this is for the type local host for the current one, and local host profile. In that local host profile, you need to give the profile name. In our particular case, it is deny write profile. And then we have to give the container name and this simple busy box container. So now let's apply this. But before that, let's make sure that it gets applied to the control plane. Like it gets scheduled to the control plane. So we'll give a node name control plane. kubectl apply hyphen f pod. Pod is created, kubectl get pods hyphen o wide. It is being created on the control plane. It is running. And in order to check if the policy is enforced in the pod, we can just do kubectl exec app armor demo and cat proc one ADTR current. And we can see deny write profile is enforced for this. Now let's try to see whether the restrictions are there, like whether the restrictions of the profile are actually applied. So we said deny write. So it should not, we should not be able to write anything. If we do a kubectl exec app armor demo touch in the temp directory, it says permission denied. And that's what 
we want it. So means our profile is active, loaded, applied to a particular pod and is working successfully. Now some of the gotchas, if you create a pod and define a policy which is not there, define a profile which is not there, then it will throw an error. And also you need to make sure like here we have to specify the node name as control plane but in the end we want the scheduler to make the right decision so we need the policy to be enforced on all the nodes and we need to automate the process automate the profile application onto the nodes in order to check for the logs uh, for this app armor profiles you you can check the system logs for anything wrong that happens or troubleshooting the issues you can also use tools like aa-genprof or bane to create the profiles you can also specify the app armor profiles at pod level and container level. The container level app armor profile takes the precedence over the pod level app armor profiles. So by implementing the app armor profiles, you add an extra layer of security onto the Kubernetes cluster for your pods that you are creating and ensure that your applications are running with least privilege necessary. So thank you for watching the video. Hope it was useful. In this particular video, we learned about App Armor, the profile, how to load that, some of the commands of App Armor, how to create the policy, and how to use that inside the pod, not as annotations like before, but as the security context within the pod or the container specification. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like, do not forget to subscribe to the CKS series and make sure to watch all the videos. And this will definitely help you in acing your CKS. Kubernetes Security Specialty Exam. And see you in the next video.